everyone and welcome back to A Year in the Loft with Alex. Today is track six. Yeah, as I said in track five, I took a few days off and basically got Magnus to send me over a few guitar parts. I'll basically just play you what he sent over to me. With a few licks and just kind of embellishments. And then he also sent me over this melody on top of it. Which I've literally just put a few effects on and sounds incredible. So now is my turn to make sure that I produce and deliver with the lyrics. Right, so I just penciled in the lyrics. This actually might be my favourite song. I just love how it's going. I'm going to start adding a little bit more production and see where I'm up to. Right, so I'm about halfway through recording vocals for this track, but I just wanted to say, if you don't subscribe, subscribe now, and check the description for all of my social media links, which you should go and follow, as I kind of post updates throughout the day. But that's all for now. I want to finish these vocals. Right, so I'm back. Uh, just finished the vocals. Hopefully I've done Magnus's original guitar justice and delivered. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the production. Now, to start, I just wanted to show you Magnus's guitar tracks. There are eight um, kind of little things he sent me. And as I played earlier, um, you can just hear he's absolutely nailed it, you know. And also, the thing I didn't play you earlier was this guitar solo, this uh, here, which just sounds insane. I'll move to the drums. Super simple drums, as per kick and a snap in the verses. I added a hi-hat in, in the chorus. We'd like some additional snare thing here, which you're to get. And then basically this drum loop, which I think, yeah, I think I just got it off Logic. And if I play that with the guitars, So yeah, sounds super, super chill. Very much my style of uh, chill pop. And then basically there were just a few of the instruments I layered around it to try and thicken out uh, the production in the chorus. So there's a bass here. A little pad sound. And then some like little plucks. And then to move on into the second and third chorus, the final chorus, I basically just added in a, a couple more instruments. So there's like a little synth here and a piano. So super, super, super simple production. I just didn't want to take away from Magnus's guitar, basically, so I'm just kind of adding subtle parts here and there. One final thing were these uh, little kind of vocal samples, which I just added throughout the song. There's this one here, which is like a d uh, really high. And then another vocal sample here. Which is like a little, kind of, instead of using a reverse to go into the chorus, like a sweep, like a... I've used this kind of vocal sample basically, so as you can hear, into the chorus. Mm. 
which I thought was super, super effective. And yeah, those vocal samples basically bring me on to the vocals themselves. Now, I feel like for the first time, I haven't gone absolutely crazy. I've just subtly added vocals and not done like a load and load and load, but yeah, whatever. So there's the lead vox. Don't think I'll ever find love. Nobody wanna be loved, nobody wanna be touched by me. Sitting out in the silence. And as you can see here with the verse doubles, these are just to add weight to the vocal, basically. Seems so out of good luck. So then it jumps into the chorus. Cause if I ever find love, if I ever find love, oh baby, be good to me. Be good to me. Um, and then for the second half of the chorus, I change the melody a little bit and add some harmonies. If I find love, oh baby, be good to me. So here, be good to me. there are basically just some harmonies. And then here's where I change it in this half. Not even that much to talk about production wise. There's just a few harmonies, a few ad libs here and there. Let's see if I can find one of the ad libs for you. And then into the chorus again, another ad lib. So yeah, basically a super, super simple, quite a like stripped down, relaxed track. Hopefully throughout the project, most of the tracks can kind of follow this a little bit more a relaxed approach instead of me adding layer after layer after layer. After the vocals, that brings me on to the lyrics. So the first verse reads, Don't think I'll ever find love. Nobody wanna be loved. Nobody wanna be touched by me. Sitting out in the silence. Seems so out of good luck. Just wanna be missed. Guess I just wanna be kissed by someone. I'm surrounded by silence. So obviously I think it's maybe uh, if I'm putting myself in this, this, this situation of the song, it's, it's never really having someone who has loved me before. And um, I think it's quite an interesting concept um, for anybody to write about, you know, what is your perception of never being loved? And that jumps into the chorus, uh, which I'm just answering my, my verse, very conversational, I guess, with the listener. Because if I ever find love, if I ever find love, oh baby, be good to me. Which is just pretty simplistic. I basically say, if I ever do find this love, then please be good to me, you know, don't hurt me, don't mess me around or whatever. Verse two, I've been losing my trust, trying to think with my heart, trying to think with my head, but it's doing no good, in love with the silence. And then actually, I basically copied the second half of the first verse and put it as the second half of the second verse and just added a little, like, ad lib over the top of it. So it's the same, seems so out of good luck, just, just want to be missed, guess I just want to be kissed by someone, I'm surrounded by silence. So, but the first part, the first half of it is, I've been losing my trust, trying to think with my heart, trying to think with my head, and I know there's always the saying, you know, are you thinking with your heart? Are you thinking with your head? So, yeah, which is frustrating, but I guess it, it is what it is in the song. Even though these lyrics are quite simple, for me, they're, they're kind of the most effective. I get across the point exactly what I'm saying. There's no um, crazy metaphors that are going on. It's just me stating the fact of what's going on in the song. But if you guys do have any uh, other thoughts with regards to the lyrics, let me know, put it down in the comments, love to hear them. Thank you for the continued support on the series. I am really, really enjoying it, I guess. Link to my social medias down below. I'll also link Magnus as down below. I, the guitar really, really makes this track um, and hopefully I've done him justice. But yeah, that's all for today. If I ever find love, will be out tomorrow or the audio will be out tomorrow. And yeah, I hope everyone's enjoyed the video today. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, share the video, and that's all from me. So peace and bye.